Welcome back. I want to tell you about a movement I came across on my Twitter feed. It's called hashtag stop Yulin forever. Every year in China, dogs are slaughtered and eaten during the summer solstice festival. But one group says enough. Take a look. Did you know that every year over 10,000 dogs are brutally slaughtered and boiled alive at the Yulin dog meat festival? This barbaric, heinous festival is held every year in China. These innocent animals are stripped from their homes, deprived of food and water. And they're beaten. This has to stop. I can't think of a world without dogs. And I can't think of a world where people eat dogs for pleasure. The We Love Dogs Foundation has organized a march in Los Angeles on World Animal Day, which is... October 4th. And two of the activists behind the campaign, reality star Lisa Vanderpump and her husband Ken Todd, join me now. Thank you guys both for joining us. This hits very close to my heart. I'm a dog lover as well. I have a chocolate lab at home. So incredible. Lisa, tell us more about this march. We've actually organized it, Yasmin. Thank you. It's been a hell of a lot of work. And I hope that we'll be successful in encouraging people to show up on Sunday, October the 4th at 10 o'clock at McCarthy Park. It's something that we're so passionate about. That's why we've produced this PSA with the help of Sharon Osborne. And I think most people know we're dog lovers. And it's just this barbaric torture, the horrific pictures. We're going to do everything we can to stop it. And, of course, I see that you have Jiggy there, so everybody does know that you guys are certainly dog lovers. Jiggy knowing that first and foremost. Ken, I want to read to you a question that Dolly tweeted, and it says, I want to save them all. How do I help from Virginia? What's the answer to that, Ken? Hello, Dolly. Um, if you can't be at the march, I suggest that you tweet all your friends, tweet everybody you know, and Facebook and try to make a difference. You know, Lisa. We'd appreciate that. Lisa, this is happening in China, right? And a lot of times when we start uh, these activism campaigns and, and people are tweeting about it, we can, we can speak as loudly as we can. We can scream from here saying you have to stop uh, what's happening over there. But do you really think it's going to make a difference so far away? Well, I think it depends how many people show up and how much noise we're going to make. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, I use the word celebrity loosely, but I certainly feel that being a celebrity, I can use my voice. I can be a voice for the voiceless. So I'm going to encourage everybody to scream and stand there and until we make a difference. I'm going to go on every talk show. I am going to try and do my best. Short of that, what can I do? Throw myself in front of the trucks at Yulin. I feel a moral uh, just obligation to these dogs. They're our friends. Dogs are a man's best friend. They're the, the eyes for the blind. They're, they're compassionate and they're sensitive to our needs and we should be sensitive to theirs. I've been a judge at the Hero Dog Awards for the last few years and I see the incredible jobs they do. The arson dogs, cancer detecting dogs, post-traumatic stress syndrome, people living with that, they're the conduit to society. So yes, they are extraordinary animals mm -hmm. and we should treat them with respect. And it's not just about the dog meat eating culture, it's about the barbaric torture. Mm -hmm. It's about how they pile them up in cages. It's so horrific, Yasmin. I can't sleep at night with it, and it's going to be on my epitaph that I'm going to make a difference. And I'm so happy that you guys are doing it, because it just breaks my heart to hear uh, that this is going on over there. And I, and I do hope that what you guys are doing uh, does make a difference. By the way, if you need my help, I I'm happy to be there for you, because I, I, I love Please. dogs, and I, and I love and appreciate them Thank so much. You. Yogi is my best friend. Please, Yogi is my jiggy. <laughs> Uh, exactly. So please, anybody at watching, please show up on October the 4th, Sunday at MacArthur Park, and we will be marching to the Chinese consul. Don't do it for me. Please just do it for these poor creatures that deserve love and respect. Well, Lisa, Ken, we thank you guys both for joining us, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much.